Chris Hodges, U.S. Consul General, Chennai, inaugurated the Technology Exploration and Product Engineering TEPE, Center at Geetham Bengaluru. This marks his second visit to the campus in 2024. The TEPE Center at Geetham equips engineering students with practical experience in product design, prototyping, and deployment. Students use advanced tools like laser cutting machines, tabletop machining centers, multiple variants of 3D printing machines, electrical and electronics measuring equipment, development boards etc. to solve interdisciplinary real-world challenges in healthcare, renewable energy, and mobility. They are from uh, computer science, electrical, electronics, mechanical, civil, computer science, and so on. So, when all these students come together in the first year itself, your mindset changes. I think I, I can say probably that we are the number one in the country and uh, we invested very, very heavily on this at three campuses of Vishakhapatnam, uh, Hyderabad, and Bangalore campus. I am very sure, without any doubt, that students joining either we have tremendous value added to themselves through this because it is going to be the stepping stone for their future and when uh, India has when India has taken up uh, uh, the access of becoming the third largest economy in the world. Right. Great. Um, it's great to be back at Gintan. Uh, it's great to see friends like Professor Acharya uh, with whom we've been working ever since we had our education delegation here months and months and months ago, and so many good things are happening here so quickly and in such a high volume that I'm not able to keep track of time the way that I used to. Uh, but I, uh, I know that we have many things to celebrate together in the past. Uh, I know that, that here in the present we're looking forward to a really exciting future. So it's wonderful to be part of the launch, the official opening of this Technology Exploration and Product Engineering Center, TV, TPEC, um, so I just want to say a couple things, maybe three things. Uh, the first is, it's no accident that uh, I'm joined by so many different colleagues from so many different parts of the U.S. government and the consulate. Whether it be Carrie Roon, our senior commercial officer, uh, Sneha, one of our wonderful commercial advocates here in Bengaluru, uh, Dick Roon from our political economic session, section, uh, Laura Brenda from our public diplomacy section. It's because this relationship captures so many different dimensions, whether it is the public diplomacy dimension of educational cooperation, and student mobility, I hate that term, but I want to use it. Uh, whether it is the commercial aspect of a private university working hand in glove with the private sector to foster innovation and investment. Or whether it is the bilateral dimension of what all of the good work you are doing means for our bilateral relationship between the United States and India, both at the country-to-country -country level, but also here at the state level in Karnataka. Uh, this is a really interdisciplinary effort in many more ways than one, and so all of us are very proud to be part of what you're doing here today. Um, I think it's really interesting that uh, the Technology Exploration and Product Engineering Center is focused on that, that formative first year of university. And it, it, it encourages me to harken back across an increasingly large chasm of time to my own first year at university, where I remember a couple of things. One is how hard it was to get up at 7 in the morning, five days a week, to go to my calculus class. Um, something I, I mostly did uh, over the course of that first year. But also, how overwhelming it was to be on my own in that first year of my education, high school behind me, parents behind me, although my parents would often stop by and, and check in, uh, and, and trying to figure out what the way forward was going to be, what did my path look like? What did my career look like? And at the same time, having to take all of the core classes that people are required to take as part of any university experience. That was calculus, biology, I managed to avoid physics, uh, but a lot of other classes. And, and so what, what I love about this program is that from the beginning, 
because there was one more thing I was part of. I'm going to go back to it. I mentioned it, but I want to I want to stick on it for a second. A few words for uh, people are uh, audience today. First of all, uh, I was deeply touched by what Christopher mentioned that he has brought not only himself but the entire important people from the US consulate. That means a lot to us. I met him and his uh, wonderful colleagues. The official term has fallen down. There is some kind of form, though we know that we can't cross our boundaries, but there is a very beautiful relationship is getting developed. In the interest, pure interest of institute to institution relationship, country to country relationship, which is more important. We as professionals must know how to leverage these things for the benefit of both of our countries. And Christopher, a wonderful leader, I was deeply touched by him saying that I want to come and see what happened to the lab that we are going to say that I inaugurated. Not many leaders think about what they have inaugurated. They would have forgotten it long time back, not Christopher. I am sure nine months, as I say, nine months down the line, he is going to come back and ask us what have we done here and which is the next one. And he will be eagerly ready for you to show. Thank you so much.